Hey guys, Nicole here with Slobotic. So 15 things that every mobile technician needs. Now, even if you're not mobile, you may like these things, but this is what I take when I go to do a mobile repair. And so below this video, I'm actually going to link some of them to where I buy them from. Yes, some are Amazon links. Uh, if you buy from there, I really appreciate it. If not, not a big deal. Um, if you don't like the tools, I'm sorry, but this is what I like to use. Okay. So, um, number one, a spudger. Um, really old school. Uh, <laughs> not a lot of people uh, would say that they're the greatest, but I've been using them forever, so I always need to have a backup on hand. Okay. Two, suction cup. Especially for the newer devices, like the 12, um, you have to have a good suction to open the phone. Learn that the hard way. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's not always the easiest either, but you definitely have to have one. Um, spudgers, okay? And I definitely keep a lot of these because when they get, like, I don't know if you guys, you see how this one is, like, kind of frayed right here? You see that? I, I like them to be brand new when I'm unplugging connectors inside the phone. So keep that in mind. I mean... These things are very inexpensive, and when they get worn out, just change them, throw them out. I've seen some people's spudgers, and I'm like, we're not going to talk about it, you know. <laughs> throw them out, okay? Um, I'm not even going to try to count, because I'm going to lose count, but I think I'm on the fourth item. Um, an amp meter. I like this is the cheapy one you know it's like I don't know like six bucks but I'm gonna link one below this one and then a blue one which costs a little bit more which I also have I, ha I actually carry multiple of these with me um, because I can actually plug in a device and see how it's charging and that reading gives me a lot of information okay so definitely have one of these on hand um, well, I'll just give you one example with this. Let's say, for example, that somebody brings you a phone and they want you to diagnose it and it's not charging, right? And you plug in the amp meter and you see like 0.00 um, .00 amps are going through the charge port. Well, that's either three things. It can be battery, charge port, or motherboard. So you can basically do process of elimination, put a battery, try the test, then put a charge port, try the test, you know, or vice versa, and see if you get a reading when you put those parts in. And that's just an easy way for someone that doesn't use a multimeter to check like readings and use a schematic. Maybe you're not a micro solderer yet. I mean, I don't micro solder. Um, then that's just an easy way to kind of understand what's going on and then try some parts. And if it's not, the parts don't fix it, then it's, then it's the board. Okay. Unless it's like, you know, there are some exceptions. <laughs> okay. Um, then uh, this tiny uh, charge board. Okay. So basically I can hook this inside of, now this is only well no this is for android 2 yeah um no smart china uh, i don't know i've never used this side but definitely this side um you can basically plug this into um hold on one moment okay because i'm actually recording a video um Sorry guys, I was a cleaning person. I I'm here late. Um, and so you see this side, basically you would plug that into the phone. And then while you're working on the phone, like so say you're changing the screen and you have the back of the phone to the side, you can actually plug, now very gently, you don't wanna break the cable for the battery. Let's just, you know, let's get that out of there. You gotta be pretty clever of how to connect this. And then you plug this into an Android outlet and it basically will charge the battery. I mean, there's nothing better than presentation, right? And so that's basically giving a customer a fully charged battery phone when you fix their screen. And I even wipe off the phone with a wipe and it looks nice and clean and it feels fresh and it's charged 100%. And they're like, man, this repair was great. Okay. <laughs> Here's the larger Cassie board. And I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, so don't hold it against me, okay? Um, but you have to actually remove the battery from the phone to charge it. But this one actually gives you readings, which is really cool, okay? Next, multimeter, okay? It's got to be a fluke meter. I use this a lot mainly just to check batteries. Um... But I'm a simpleton and I don't do micro soldering like some of you who are probably watching this who who do micro soldering and are laughing at me. Um, but, uh, you know, I hire people to do micro soldering, so I've never 
had to do it myself never been really interested in it but i definitely get fluke okay i would definitely get this brand i would not get any other brand the numbers are just not stable they're just i love this and and i get these micro leads so i'll definitely link those below but you've got to have the micro leads uh next an original cable so you can get original apple and an original um, android cable and have those to do your testing because you don't want to use off-brand even though <laughs> this is an off-brand <laughs> but in my case which i'm going to show you in a minute i actually have original cables that i bought from best buy because i don't want to buy them from like ebay or something like that i want to make sure that they're actually original okay um you want to have your intake form course which I've talked about many times okay now you need two copies one for you one for your customer or use the intake pro app on an Android device like we bought a big Android tablet for our front counter and that's where all the intakes are done and then we just send them the form via text it's like super easy okay now you're gonna need some sort of form of heat now if you're mobile like I was for a very long time and still do here and there if you're fixing in a coffee shop or you know a McDonald's like you can't you can't turn on a heat gun you're like Meh, you know <laughs> everybody's looking at you right you gotta have something that's quiet so basically i'll find a booth that has a plug under the table plug this in turn it on and put it on the floor because i definitely don't want the manager walking by and seeing like all this stuff on you know and getting scared that something's going to happen okay all right next we have dry erase mats and my um mr clean wipe which I could probably go for a new one um but i like to draw my layout a lot of people just lay their screws out i guess it's just a little bit ocd i mean i've been doing this for so long that um it just makes me feel comfortable when i see the drawing and i see the screws in there and i see the circles i feel like oh, i can breathe you know and uh <laughs> so definitely have you a drawing or layout mat that you can use next your favorite tools these are just um i don't know I just got these. I probably have like 40 different sets of tools. I just love tools. You know, I just, I just like having them. Okay. Um, next you definitely want to have some sort of programmer. Um, there's iCopy. This is a mega ideal clone boy. Um, I, personally use an iCopy, um, but if you're going to be using screens that need to be programmed so the phone keeps true tone, which again, that's going to depend on where you buy the screen from and does it need to be programmed? Does the phone have that, need that done, right? It's a lot to, it's not like you're programming every phone. You'll definitely want to have a programmer. So when you change the screen, you can program the serial number from the old screen to the new one. Okay. Um, and then we're almost, we're almost done. Hang in there with me. Uh, a mobile mat. Okay. Now <laughs> I for years have been, you know, screaming, we've got to be grounded when we fix phones. And uh, some people come on my YouTube channel and they comment really mean things. And they say, we don't have to be grounded. Static doesn't affect phones. And you know what? It does. Okay. Um, I've actually been vindicated. We are working with a, um, organization through CTIA, which created their certification program wise with the manufacturers in tow. So in there, the very lengthy section on grounding and how it affects devices if you're not properly grounded. So this right here is a grounding mat with little plugs on it. This actually plugs into an outlet and then it snaps to my mat. And then I put this on my wrist and it's, so it's grounding my mat, grounding me. I even have a little, like a gray box that I can hook up um, that will beep when I'm not grounded. All of our workstations in the facility have them. If you're mobile, you really can't use that. Like it's not feasible. Um, but if you're, if you, you know, if you have a workstation, definitely look at the boxes that beep when you're not grounded like they're a lifesaver for our technicians okay and then last but definitely not least is a carrying case okay this thing is full of tools and parts that's my mobile carrying case why do i like a metal case well first off you can get your logo put on it second off it looks really cool i mean i guess you know i guess some people might get scared you know if they see <laughs> So definitely yeah, a logo would probably do good uh, or just cell phone repair on the side. Um, but also it's 
hard so my parts are in there so when I'm moving this thing around or it's in my car clunking around my parts and tools are nice and safe inside and I'm not gonna open this and find three or four broken screens you know so definitely you need a carrying case okay guys so I hope this was helpful if you really want to learn in person definitely come visit us if you are already doing repair and you want a business course on how I make money and all the different ways that I've made money over the years and contracts and all this good stuff. Um, definitely check out sellboticsonline.com. It is our new platform. We re are delivering our content online, not repair content, business content. Okay. All right. Like, and subscribe.